come this would be the final chapter for class 7 geography chapter 10 that is life in deserts now when we started with the initial chapters we talked about the three basic systems that's the forest grasslands and the shrubs uh, then we talked about the uh, desert areas so deserts are typically of two types hot deserts and cold deserts in today's session we'll be dealing with one case studies from each of these uh, that's the hot desert and the cold desert. Now I have been asked with numerous queries regarding are these the only things that we have to uh, study for the competitive examination? My answer is definitely no because as we move forward we'll have further areas on which we'll be studying. So the case studies will automatically increase with higher classes. Now uh, what are the basic characteristics of a desert? Definitely there are extremes of temperature. During the daytime there is extremely high temperature. However, during the night, there is extremely low temperature. In winters, the nights even reach the freezing temperature in many areas. Now, the vegetation in the desert is mainly scarce. You have the main vegetation that's in the form of cactus. And in cactus, if you see, you have the modification of stem, sorry, stem to leaf and leaf to, you have the modification of stem to leaves and leaves to thorn that's the commonly seen uh, modifications in the trees and that is uh, the main idea is to reduce the uh, water through transpiration so reduce water output by transpiration now the region definitely has low rainfall as a result you have the modifications that you see here in the vegetation now we'll be starting with the case studies so there would as i said there would be two case studies that we would be discussing the one is for hot desert and another is for cold desert for hot desert we'll talk about the sahara desert in africa and for cold desert we'll talk about the ladakh desert in india now sahara if we look on to the map of africa you have the northern northern region that is the sahara desert now this is the world's largest desert area with an area of 8.54 million square kilometers there are 11 countries that are affected by sahara desert that is algeria chad libya mali mauritius morocco niger sudan tunisia and west sahara so these are the 11 nations that are affected by the uh, that fall in the area of sahara desert the uh, the uh, topography here is mainly sand with plain gravels and elevated plateaus in few areas. Now this has been a result of climate change that has been taken place over the years. So I would say years back, millions of years back, this area was a lush green forest area or a region with very good vegetation but with the changes in the climate that happened this region turned out to be a desert area and that was the climatic change that has taken place over the years uh, in sahara desert in 1922 the highest temperature was recorded at al jaziza in tripoli libya which was 57.5 degrees celsius which was the highest temperature in the world that was recorded now this region definitely has short rainfall as we said that is a major characteristic of desert area uh, the sky is cloudless and clear, nights are freezing cold with uh, temperature reaching up, uh, reaching up to 0 degrees. The major vegetation is cactus, date palms and acacia. Now cactus is the major vegetation that is seen throughout the desert area. Date palms are seen close to the region of oasis. Now what is oasis? Oasis is a water body that is found in a desert area. It's a kind of depression. So when we talk about, uh, when we worked around with the aeolian landforms, we talked about the formations, the erosional features and out of that one was depression. Now this depression is filled with water and that forms an oasis. In the desert area, the oasis, the region close to the oasis or surrounding the oasis has kind of date palm trees. Uh, that could be seen and you have small settlements that is close to the oasis as a result the settlement pattern in the desert area is primarily circular now <coughs> a famous oasis is talilet oasis which is of an area of 13,000 square kilometers. The common animals seen in deserts are camels, hyena, jackal, fox, scorpion, snakes and lizards out of this 
camel has a capacity to store water and food for uh, many days uh, sahara in itself is rich with minerals and resources so among the mineral resources the common resources are iron potassium uh, phosphorus magnesium and uranium that are mined here it is also a rich oil producing area with algeria egypt and libya as the major oil producers in the region now about the tribes in this region there are two basic tribes which are known as bedouins and turangs now the tribes here have a nomadic lifestyle that means they move from one region to another they have certain pet animals which are mainly goat sheep camel and horse uh, what they use from these animals is mainly the milk and the hides for the from the hides that's the skin of the animal uh, that is the leather they make belts slippers and bottles then from the hair they make the mats carpets and blankets nomadic tribes have now started to lead a kind of settled lifestyle they now act as guide for foreign tourists uh, they previously used to live only in and around the oasis area that's the region with the date palms and the water availability they now also have kind of vegetation that they grow which is mainly wheat rice barley and beans again nomadic tribe is known for their uh, uh, production of cotton and egyptian cotton is one of the finest cottons in the world now the next is a case study of coal desert the coal desert we'll be studying here is ladakh now if you look on to the ma map of jammu and kashmir we have this area which is the ladakh region and you have the ladakh range that passes through here the main rivers here are shyok and you have the siachen gla uh, glacier that is found here another important glacier in the ladakh region is the gangri glacier you have indus and its tributaries that flow through here uh, now the height of the ladakh region varies from 3000 meters which is seen in kargil to up to 8000 meters in the karakoram range uh, this region lies between uh, karakoram in the north and zanskar range in the south the day and night temperatures are extreme so since it's a cold desert the day temperatures are usually 0 degrees however at night it can go up to minus 30 degrees the region is affected since it's at a elevation and an altitude as well it's affected by both hot sunlight as well as the freezing winds the freezing winds lead to frostbite in this region however the hot sunlight in this area leads to sunstroke uh, this region in its local name ladakh the name is derived from kapachan that means it's a kind of snow land where you have abundant snow uh, vegetation again is scarce in this region mainly there are willow and poplar trees willow trees are known for their uh, use in bats and they have the kind of finest cricket bats that are made from willow tree among the uh, vegetation you have mainly apples apricots and walnuts that is seen in the ladakh area uh, yak is one of the animal that is commonly found there and the milk from yak is used to produce cheese and butter uh, other wildlife here are wild goat wild sheep dogs uh, they are used for their meat hide etc uh, some of the common birds here are robins red starts tibetan snowcock raven and hopi Uh, this region is also home to numerous migratory birds again uh, the sheep and the goats here are used for production of woolen clothes now one of the unique examples here is chiru chiru is an animal which is also known as the tibetan antelope it is now a kind of endangered animal and the wool from chiru is used to produce uh, woolen clothes which are very light and warm and this wool is known as shahtoosh so from chiru you get get the wool which is shaitush now the population here is mainly buddhist and muslims uh, since you have numerous buddhist here you have gompas which are the buddhist monasteries which are seen here some of the famous monasteries of this region are hemis thik uh, thiksle she and lamayaru uh, in the summer you also have kind of small production of uh, vegetation which is barley potato beans peas and turnips now the capital of ladakh is leh you have national highway 1a that moves from <coughs> leh to zozila uh, that is in the kashmir valley and this highway is known as nh1a 
again you have another, another important highway which runs from Leh to Manali and this has four passes in between that is Rotang Pass, Baralacha, uh, Lungla and Tangla. Whenever you, we use the word La that means a pass. That's a way between the mountains. That's a way to go. So Rotang, uh, Rotang La or we also call it Rotang Pass. Then you have Baralacha La, Lunglacha and Tangla. All of these open between July to September and during the winter months they are mainly closed. So with this we cover uh, the complete series for NCRT class 7. We will be starting with NCRT class 8 geography. In the next lessons you can subscribe to our channel for more updates. Have a good day ahead.